What's going on guys? Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we got a 1970 El Camino. Getting ready to do a little walk around on. It's got a small block 350 under the hood. When I get done with this walk around, which is pointing out all the flaws that I could find, we'll take it for a test drive. Reason we do these videos is to let you know everything about the car before you make your way up here to buy it. If you check out maplemotors.com, you can get close to 100 detailed pictures, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. We've also got finance options, and yes, we could ship these cars all around America. We'll start up here on the front. Hit that subscribe button to see videos like this every single day. This one's got a new, fresh bumper on the front. Looks like the headlight bezels have been changed out as well. And the grill's nice and clean. I went ahead and took the hood pins out. Aftermarket set of wheels and tires, front disc brakes. Tires have great tread on them. Looks like it's got 383 emblems on the side. They may have bored out this 350. I can't tell the internals without taking them apart. See a lot of the chromes in good shape here. This car's actually got a green tint to it. It's like a silverish green, so. Down the bottom of the car here. A little bit of pitting on the door handle. Back window trim looks new. Trim around the bed's been replaced. I heard that's hard to get a hold of. He also did the rear bumper and the tailpipes in the back. Coming around the back end. Got some type of liner in the bed here. It's cracking. Go ahead and drop the gate here. Or try to. There we go. See the rear bumper's new as well. It's been replaced. Actually see the stickers on it from the inside car used to be gold or at least the tailgate was I'd say the whole car was take the gas cap open you look down in there you can see some more of that brownish gold This paint job here is fairly new. There's a chip in the door right here. More pitting on this door handle. Some of the weather strippings drying out there and cracking. A little bit of pitting on the mirrors. spot in the bottom of the door there looks like the paint was put on kind of thick all right I'm gonna flip the camera around here because I gotta go ahead and open the hood three fifty power steering it could have some internal work, but I can't tell you for an honest truth without tearing it apart. Lots of overspray under the hood from where they painted the car. Lots of overspray in the fenders here from where they painted the car. Aluminum radiator. A 
We're gonna head on into the interior now. The door panel doesn't look bad. Some of the accent trim's coming off. It's normal. Same thing's happening on my car actually at the moment. Weather stripping around the door looks great. Get you an undershot of the door. Carpet's a bit older. Not in terrible shape. Cloth seat does have some rips in the corners. Let's see if we can get behind this thing here. Needs a headliner in this car as well. What y'all think? You think the horn works? Go ahead and place your bets. So a little game we do here. Let me jump in this interior. Look around a little bit. Aftermarket gauges under the dash. Looks like it's a fuel gauge, oil pressure, and a temp gauge. Old school style radio. Dash itself. Not too bad, there's a big old crack over here on this side. Also in the, the window, I see a crack. You're gonna need a front windshield in this car. It's coming all the way down right there. It's something that you'll definitely need. I can't believe I missed that on the outside. All right, this one is a four speed. Let's see if I can get her started car was a little bit flooded out on this one i noticed the idle was really low so i may have to adjust the idle out on it let's look to see what gauges we got popping up full pressure's good engine temp's not up already gas gauge showing full but i don't know how correct that is either we'll have to stop and see if we can add some let's see if the blower motor works on this Blower motor's out on this car. Windshield wipers, before I turn them on, I wanna make sure we got some blades. Go ahead and try the horn. No horn on this one, guys, and I'm trying. Let me make sure we got blades before we try the wipers. Blades are good. I don't guess that mattered because the wipers don't work either. We'll leave them on a second, see if we can mess with them. Yeah, it looks like the motor's gonna be bad on that one. It was quite old. Go ahead and shut those off. Let y'all listen to the motor. Now I'm gonna give you all some undercarriage shots. We're gonna look up under the front, the uh, doors, under the doors, under the rear. We're gonna go all the way around this car, check everything out. I've got close to 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com you can check out. So definitely we'll look at that. Uh, if you're trying to get finance, we have that available as well. All right, let's get these undershots.
we're getting ready to do a test drive video so be watching for that in the bottom right of your screen here it'll be the last 30 seconds of this video it should pop up try to give you an all-around representation of all the cars that we have want you to know what you're getting before you get here so i do appreciate you watching if you don't mind hit that subscribe button we try to post stuff every single day we got a whole car lot full of classic muscle cars and we get about 40 new ones every month all right guys on to the test drive thanks for watching